so this really is about partnerships um i want to use this opportunity to just share with you guys my experience with partnerships and if this is actually something that i think you should do as a business owner and i just kind of want to run through some new experience that i've had because i've actually tried i had one successful collaboration and i've been trying to kind of replicate that one of them actually kind of failed i feel like it failed because i'm not really sure they kind of understood the, the, the collaboration though i still think that collaborations partnerships like going to partnership with other organizations is actually a very wise decision especially if you're like aiming towards uh, exposure and trying to put your business in front of a lot more people right it really works like basically it's a new business that's kind of getting off the ground you really want to actually like leverage on other people's um, people that have the same target market as you kind of like leverage on their own coverage already to kind of push yourself but then obviously you're not like being a pest kind of you're actually like there's always an exchange in value in partnerships and collaborations so the first one is um the collaboration that i had with loud loud fashion network that one actually was i'll say 50 percent a success because we didn't actually meet the revenue goal but we actually did sell my courses and i actually was able to like kind of pull together a small community it kind of like helped me and pushed me to be able to kind of take Ganeta school to another level where people actually know us because i actually get i see like on our website people actually like check our websites without me like i've not even shared the link with anybody like they just like check and i see that some people are checking from different parts of nigeria and i have a few of people checking from other countries so <clears throat> the other one that i said didn't work out was um the one with the printing press um it was just one though the thing is that when it's for serifix yeah i actually have other ideas for like collaborations but i haven't like executed those ones yet the first one i did was collaborating with a printing press but the thing is that most printing presses a lot of i think it's, it might be nigerians i don't know but they kept complaining to me that our prices are higher than what their customers expect so i think the kind of customers that they attract are not the same level of customers that we need or clients that we are looking for because our price point is slightly higher than what most people pay for design which obviously i'm not going to come down on our standard our standard is on that level so it makes sense but because of that difference we've not been able to have any successful client come th- from the collaboration and because of that it's kind of I, th- I feel like it's kind of telling on them so they're not really like pushing the design parts anymore i don't know why and then even on our end too we started doing the rebrand and then we had so many clients at the time towards the end of last year so we kind of like dull down on marketing so i haven't like been marketing or anything like that for like a few months now yeah so but like we'll still go back we'll go back to it this year but that's like that one i won't really say it was a success because of we have the same target audience but our target audience are we have similar target audience right but our own target audience um price point right is higher than theirs so like i feel like that was like the riff so i think maybe we need to find a printing press that actually would match that level basically the idea about this is as a service business you want to collaborate with other people that render services to so like complementary services to the people that you want to you know render service to um the one that i did not even get through honestly i was just lazy i'll be honest because the same script that i used for loud fashion network it was the same like i found the person on linkedin and i wanted to send a message to them to kind of get them to come on board for a collaborated sales like a sales collaboration and i didn't use the same script i used for loud i just put typed one random one paragraph stuff like it was it was just oh god it was so bad like i was i didn't even expect much like when he said that like if he has spoken he actually replied and said that he would speak to his team and then he spoke to his team and then they said that they are not like looking forward to it like they're not open to it at this point at this stage so it's two options either that is actually genuine like they actually are not ready for that kind of thing at this stage or he might have just felt like I might not be serious because i didn't even send put link to the website i didn't put link to our course i didn't put link to our platform like i didn't even put anything i don't even know what happened to me honestly i don't know man so i feel like i would just like try again maybe like in the middle of the year or towards the end of the year i'll just try again and like kind of correct my mistake but that's pretty much that so i feel like that just justifies my scripts that i use for um when i reached out to loud so i'll put the link to the script in the description so the message that i typed to the owner of loud i'll just put the message in the description so you guys can like edit it to your to your taste and all 
and please you guys when you use the script let me know so that i know if it actually works so i can like kind of package it well and broadcast it more i'm going to put a link to my collaborations video in the description also in the card so that you can watch that video i think i shared some ideas collaboration ideas in that video so you can also like watch that as well mm -hmm.